fun to be out there. Um, obviously, the conditions weren't great, but um, you know, I'm just happy to be here and you know to see all the faces in the running community again. And, um, you know, it's, it was a good time out there. Take us through, I guess, the process to even like decide to do this race. Is it back and forth between you and Mark? Like, how, what, what um, was behind the scenes? No, it was really like kind of like more or less casual. I you know, came to this race last year right after I had announced my pregnancy and somebody asked me when I thought I would race again. And I'm like, oh, maybe this race. So uh, so like in the back of my head, it's always kind of been like, maybe I'll, I'll open up with Fifth Ave. You know, it's always a, a fun one and um, it was kind of like full circle from last year. What was the process like in terms of just like getting back to workouts and how did everything feel? Yeah, I just kind of took it one step at a time. I didn't put too much pressure on coming back fast, um, but I think it was just kind of like letting myself pick the speed and um, I really kind of wanted to get back into it. Like I don't really like sitting around, so um, you know, it, it was pretty painful at first. <laughs> And then um, as I started to feel better, I got more momentum, and um, now it's been a lot of fun. Were any doubts that you were ready for this race? Or you kind of oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's hard not to have a little self-doubt when I haven't raced in so long, and I haven't, you know, pushed myself like that. Um, but I have been feeling good in my workouts and stuff, so I knew that there was some fitness there. Your son's here. Like, what's that like having him on Oh, well, I just cried when I saw him. <laughs> Um, you know, it's really, it's really special. I definitely ran for him and for all the other moms out there. Um, I think that was a big motivator um, for me just because there's so many amazing moms out there that don't give themselves enough credit. And you're sort of, you're away from, you know, the 1500 meter ranks. And Nikki sort of stepped up. Um, Eddie Wiley ran really fast last week. Like, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, it's it's really awesome to see the you know the 1500 field just continue to get better and better. Um, it makes me excited to see what I can do next year. How did you kind of go about like the summer? I mean, were you watching races from home, cheering on teammates? Like, what was that like? I guess just having to watch from home. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm not like it. I don't watch every single race. Like, I definitely keep up with the times, and it's all over, you know, Instagram and everything. But um, I don't know. Like, I couldn't really do anything about it. Like, I knew I was right where I needed to be, and obviously using that as some motivation and excitement to get back into it. But um, it's been a fun summer to watch track. <laughs> What's the conversations like with other mothers in sport, right? There's so many other mothers on the track and in the sport in general. What's the conversations like with them? Um, I think it's like everybody's just really supportive of each other because they know like how hard it is. And um, it's been really fun to like talk with other moms who are getting back into running and, you know, see what they run into and, and stuff. Um, you know, it's it's pretty cool to, to see other moms like really set the bar pretty hard high and like you know like just because you become a parent doesn't mean that you have to give up your entire career you know it's a big new balance event like new balance sponsor athlete like for how cool has that been just getting the support from the brand and especially you did the campaign where like the photo shoot so for you i guess like to be that part of a brand that supports it what's that been like yeah i, I just feel so supported in it and i can't express how much I appreciate um, New Balance and all my sponsors for being so supportive and um, you know the Run Your Way campaign is really special and it means a lot to me and um, I think it's a really powerful message and it's, it's not just for moms but it's for any type of runner who doesn't necessarily feel like they, they fit the mold and are the stereotypical runner but they run and they enjoy it doesn't matter how fast they run like I feel like anybody can be a runner and what was the biggest surprise coming back to runner? Any tips uh, or anything like that? Uh, labor was like <laughs> surprisingly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's just been a whirlwind. <laughs> and now I, mean, I imagine there's motivation now going into next year considering. Uh, I imagine there's a motivation now going into next year considering everything you've kind of been through. Yeah. All, yep. All goals are set towards uh, Paris 2024. So we'll see. What's the next year? What? Oh, yeah, what's